Hello again, friends. Well, we're all waiting for restrictions to lift completely and for the opportunity to get back to what we would each call normal living. We want to get out of our houses. We want to go to places this summer, enjoy the outdoors, maybe be part of a concert or a summer fair. Who knows what will be allowed in the next few months? Wouldn't it be nice to see people smile again instead of having their smile hidden behind their mask? Well, all we know at the moment is that more and more people are being vaccinated. And as those numbers increase, we get closer to that herd immunity that sends the virus packing from our communities. There is growing optimism that maybe we're finally in the final season of the pandemic. At the same time, at least locally here in Canada, we see case numbers rising and larger and larger percentages of those cases being of the virus variants that are more infectious. Are we in a third wave? What will that wave look like? There have been some dire predictions that it could be worse than numbers we've seen in the two previous waves. So we wait and watch. This scenario has reminded me a bit of how we see all of time in eternity. In our world, we see so much evidence of moral decline and people refusing to accept the reality of God as they choose to make their own decisions about the beginning and end of life and behaviors in between. I think about the ancient Catholic list of seven deadly sins and the evidence of those things being not just practiced but held up for honor is astonishingly clear in our world today. Pride, envy, gluttony, lust, anger, greed, laziness. What do these look like in 2021? Pride, believing that we should put ourselves first no matter the harm to others. Greed, consuming whatever we want no matter the debt or consequences. Envy, wishing we had more because we don't have what someone else has. Lust, exposing ourselves to sexually immoral content and participating in sexually inappropriate relationships. Wrath or anger, communicating with hatred and vitriol, whether in person or social media. Gluttony. Living for as much pleasure as we can get and believing we have the right to whatever behavior and lifestyles bring that to us. And laziness. Doing only what we feel like doing when we feel like doing it. Seems pretty clear to me that these deadly sins define life in 2021, wouldn't you say? And yet, in the middle of the mess... As people of God, we need to be those who are confident that we will live to see the Lord's goodness in our own lives as well as beyond the grave in eternity. We need to wait with God, with courage, and dedicated hearts, trusting that our lives are in God's hand and that we're carrying out God's good purposes that will ultimately succeed no matter how dark things seem to be today. The Bible says, yet I'm confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I'm here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. God is good. God is working for good in all things. God is working in us to transform us into people who are and do good through the power of the Holy Spirit. He's doing it in the middle of our broken world where people all around us are making choices that go against his goodwill with media blasting out messages inviting us to join them. You know, years ago we used to read the Amplified Bible before many of the modern translations were put in print. This time I think it does a really good job of showing us God's goodness at work in us that can lift up our confidence today as we wait. Here's what it says. It is not your strength, but it is God who is effectively at work in you, 
both to will and to work, that is, strengthening, energizing, and creating in you the longing and the ability to fulfill your purpose for his good pleasure. That's lovely. Let's pray and allow that to come alive in us today, shall we? Oh, Lord, we are so grateful that we don't live in this day simply by what we see and experience. How discouraging and meaningless that would be. We're so glad to know that you are working out your purposes and you will prevail both in our lives and in history. We have your sworn promise. The Almighty God is, the Lord Almighty has sworn, surely as I have planned, so it will be. And as I have purposed, so it will happen. We have the Lord Jesus who gave his life so we could be made whole and have life with you forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Well, Lord, today we want to live in the confidence that we will see your goodness no matter how challenging and frustrating we find our present experience and circumstances. While we wait for this pandemic to clear, for case numbers to go down, for restrictions to be lifted, we pray for patience, for courage, for perseverance to keep on trusting you and to keep on doing the good things that you have planned for us one day at a time. Yes, Lord, we are confident that we will see your goodness while we are here in the land of the living. We will wait patiently for you, Lord. We will be brave and courageous. Yes, we will wait patiently for you, Lord. Amen. Well, we've said the words and our hearts have the longing. Now let's put our feet to the task and let's actually live in that today, shall we? Have a great day.